Hey everyone. I have this uh, Samsung Chromebook. Uh, obviously the screen is damaged. I have it up on my test screen here. Uh, I've been trying to get it to, I guess, somewhat boot. I've tried a bunch of things I've noticed online. Uh, I've tried Control Shift Alt R. I've tried the Escape Refresh Power Button. I've tried Power Button with Reset Button under the, the laptop. Uh, whenever I do all of those, this is the screen I get. I guess this is, I guess, their, the person's screensaver or whatever it was before. Like you can see, it, it is doing stuff. The mouse moves. Uh, I've got it to the next screen once. So I'm not sure if it's like some corruption of the OS or the operating system or what. But any advice would be great on this. Uh, uh, I've read somewhere you can do a recovery but you need a backup or uh, an image of a backup to get it to recover so and now obviously I don't have one of these I just got this in a, a lot of scrap uh, I picked up so uh, any advice on how to get this to go to the next screen would be wonderful uh, it is a... Oh, do I have the cover with me? No, I don't, but it's a Samsung Chromebook. I'll show you it under... So what it looks under the reset button is like right there. I don't see anything else wrong with it. So I'm guessing it has something to do with the OS being corrupt or something. So any advice would be appreciated. Thanks. Hey everyone, so I have this uh, Guitar Hero drum set here. Uh, it doesn't work. And I'm curious to see what's inside. Uh, I know some of these parts uh, have value on eBay, so I'm going to go through everything uh, at the end of the video. Uh, what you can kind of get for some of this stuff with uh, scrap value. So let's open this up. Hopefully there's some uh, good stuff in here. I know some of those little drum drum thingies, uh, sensors or whatever you want to call them. Whatever you want to call them have some value on eBay. These guys on here don't work, but the other ones do. So that's why I'm uh, taking it apart. Got it. There you go. Nope, I missed one. It should be it. Oh, I missed another one. So, have a nice hunk of plastic. Curious to see if these back covers are worth anything on eBay. I'm gonna check that out. So, from what I can see, there's not a lot in these things. So you have the sensors here, the wires that go into these little, I guess, want to call them uh, I doubt they're mid-grade but we'll say low-grade boards some wiring nothing too too special uh, 
Okay, so these are what might have some value on eBay, and I'm going to check that out. Unfortunately, the ones that sell really well are these guys here, the symbols. But unfortunately, they have corrosion damage, and the plastic and all the wiring is kind of falling apart. And they also don't work, so obviously I can't sell that. And this guy here also has some value. So, as you can see, it's not a lot to write home about on uh, inside one of these drum kits. Scrap value. But uh, eBay value might be some value here. It's mostly from these guys here. Because these worked, I tested them and they work, so... Hopefully we have some value. I'm guessing at most it'll have 20. But I'm going to check that out and put all the values at the end of the video. So uh, This was nice and quick. Nice and quick short video. Had this lying around that I tested and everything. It was just sitting. And uh, now I'll have uh, the values for you at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them. Any suggestions, you can leave those too. Thanks a lot. Hey everyone. So, I haven't made a video in a while. And uh, decided to make one uh, today. Uh, mostly because this thing here has been uh, taking up quite a bit of space. I've had it for... Well, at least a year I bought bought a bunch of stuff uh, figure it's uh, some kind of treadmill or elliptical machine uh, control panel I have no use for it uh, no way to see if it uh, works or not so uh, I've been keeping it and holding on to it just to see uh, what I can get from it uh, Sorry for the noise. First group. So, uh, I haven't looked at this in a while. I'm not sure what's in one of these. I've never had one before. Pretty straightforward. A bunch of screws. You get these deeper ones and I'll use the uh, drill for the... Uh, ones that are not deep. I'm sure there won't be anything too special in this. Hopefully there's a nice uh, main board or something in here. That would be pretty cool. I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of wire. Uh, steel don't think so. This thing looks uh, quite plasticky. <laughs> there you go. Got more. Wow, sorry about the noise again. screws and we'll be able to see what's inside one of these screws 
here's your piece of steel, but uh, might hold on to this. Might be useful for something down the road. That's one thing about scrapping that I enjoy is uh, enjoy is that uh, you can uh, find useful things uh, within uh, scrap. Like this metal bar could be used for quite a few things. Worst case, my dad might be able to use it in his garden. So let's see what we have here. We definitely have a bunch of wire. Plastic here is trash. So here's the console. And this is what's inside, which I pretty much figured some low grade. This one here though is interesting this board here. Looks to have quite a bit of gold on it. And uh the LCD screen here. I'm gonna open this up, and there's probably be a nice little board in there too, from what I see. Got a nice little fan here. So another uh, uh, what you will call it, a uh, copper bearing motor. Quite a bit of wire. Some speakers here. I'm not sure what could be done with the speakers. They might be able. To Someone might be able to use them for something, but I uh, haven't uh, scrapped speakers in a long time, so I'm not sure what uh, could be done with them, scrap-wise. If someone uh, would like to share that information, that would be wonderful. So let's take out this big chunk of plastic off of all the fun stuff. And at the end of the video, I decided to just uh, just show you guys what everything weighs after I take everything apart. So here's the LCD screen. Not sure if this thing is actually worth anything, but I don't even know if it works. So. I don't like selling things that I can't at least partially test. So, a few more screws here. We'll get to see the board on the uh, LCD screen. Well, this is interesting. That's some USB ports here. I think this might have been a port for an HDMI connection. A little micro SD here. It's quite nice. I think this could be used for different things. Like I said, unfortunately, I can't test it. So. I don't feel comfortable selling things I can't test. There you go. So like I said, there's a nice little board here with the uh, LCD. A little bit of wire. These in here definitely have gold. Some gold on the actual board. Gold in the connectors. Uh, oh, even a little bit of copper here. A little copper sheet. Another gold, gold connector here. Uh, some kind of Wi-Fi connection. I guess it has some kind of Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connectivity. So this must have been some kind of fancy, uh, fancy board. And even here, 
around the LCD here pretty sure there's gold all around it. see the gold here these two connections probably all around there's more gold and obviously the uh, USB uh, ports here definitely have gold in them this uh, SD card here that's pretty nice let's see what else we have here Ugh. we have a bunch of ribbon cable fan let's see here There goes the fan. Cut that guy. So, nice little copper bearing motor. Not much value, but it's something. Smaller bit. board off now. There you go. Get this other small board. There you go. Cut some of this wiring. Sorry about the video. It's kind of hard to make a video of a bulky thing and kind of limited space in my garage I usually do smaller things and smaller things are a lot easier to deal with hot glued all these wires together makes it a little difficult Snips and we'll be done. There you go. Almost done. Collect all the wires. We almost have the peripheral board here. Oh, no, sorry, the, the green board will loose here. Snip a few more things. Tiny board here. There you go. Pretty much a hunk of plastic that's going in the garden. So now let's move this to my workbench here try to weigh some of this stuff maybe get a price on them alright so we have our little scale here get 
gonna start with the wire. Cut all this wire and ribbon loose. snips and we'll be done. Right, so we have a little brown board here, low grade green board, not much on there, some IC chips. These might have gold in them here. There's some tantalum capacitors. If you guys collect these. I used to but I ended up stopping because uh, at the time I was getting quite a bit for them and then it just stopped. So this is the nice little board I was talking about that has gold in it, uh, the pins here on the board, tantalum, IC chips, it's tiny, tiny board so like there won't be much money in it but uh, every penny counts. And we got fan. We got all this wire here. So let's go on to board sort and see what some of this stuff's worth. Board sort. Dot com payout rate. So so we definitely have some low grade. Some low grade board, low grade boards. At uh, currently they're at 15 cents a pound. Like you can see, we have So we have about, oh, let's see, Oops, sorry it was the wrong boards. Still we have 2.6 ounces. So we have about 2.4 cents of low grade and we have this guy here which I'd probably throw in my peripheral uh, 
pile. Let's see how much peripheral uh, boards are. They're at a uh, dollar thirty-five. We have point three ounces, which is not a lot. So. So we have about two and a half cents there. Now for the wire. Okay, got everything. So we have about 3.5 ounces of wire. And I usually get around 80 cents a pound. So this is about 17 and a half cents worth of wire. Take this and put it in our wire pile. As for the LCD screen, uh, I didn't want to scrap it yet because, like I said, it looks like a very interesting uh, LCD screen uh, with uh, connectors. But, like I said, this was internal, so these connectors weren't used at all in the uh, whatever machine it was, elliptical or um, or a treadmill, so this definitely has some kind of other use. Uh, there's a part number on the back. Here is part numbers and information, so I'm definitely gonna look it up just in case this thing is a lot more valuable than obviously scrap. Because really the only thing that's in here is that board and it would be maybe another 5 to 10 cents worth of peripheral board value. <laughs> okay, so now we have a copper bearing motor. I usually get 12 cents a pound. So we have 2.3 ounces of that. So 2.3 times 12 cents. So we have about a penny and a half more or less and the steel is negligible. I'm not sure I have a way to weigh this thing. But let's try. But like I said, I'm probably going to use it for some kind of personal personal use. So, it's about a pound and a quarter, pound and a half, so that would probably give me, uh, let's see, what is it they usually give me, around eight cents a pound more or less, but I haven't been in a while for steel. So let's just say it's eight cents. A pound. Point oh eight divided by sixteen. So about at most eleven cents of steel, let's say. So would make it a grand total. So we have the 2.4 cents for the uh, low grade, 2.75 for the uh, peripheral board, 17.5 for the wire, and 
11 for the steel and 1.7 for the copper bearing motor so we're talking about a big 25 cents <laughs> so not much value in uh, uh, that console the elliptical or treadmill console well, it was fun taking it apart what I'm interested in is this I'll do some research and if there's any value to this I will put it in the description the only issue I have with this and probably even if it does have value I might not sell it is the fact that I can't test it if you guys have something similar and it's running you'll be able to know if it, they're partially running you'll be able to know the value so uh, thanks for watching guys, uh, been meaning to do this video for a while, specifically on the console, like I said, it's taking up a lot of space for the last year. So finally it's done, I get my space, get some scrap, and uh, that's pretty much uh, it. Like, subscribe, and I'll try to make another video very soon. Talk to you guys soon. Hey there, it's a quick little video. Got me one of these uh, uh, hard drive enclosures uh, for, I guess, laptop size hard drives. Got this a long, long time ago. I was using it as a backup. Uh, tried to make it uh, work the other day. I wanted to check my backup and everything. And uh, There you go. So I wanted to check what was in my backup and uh, it wasn't working. I just kept on making the making the hard drive make this little, little weird spinning noise, clicking noise. So I thought the hard drive was dead. Good thing I didn't throw it away because it was the enclosure. I tested the hard drive. The hard drive was perfect. I connected it through another method. And uh, just to let you know, sometimes your hard drive enclosures, they die, especially if you bought this from, I guess, for sure it came from China, but uh, one of those Chinese resellers that are based in the U.S. Not much value into these things. Maybe, let's say... Uh, no, I wouldn't even call this a peripheral board. It's probably mid-grade board. There's almost nothing in there. But I do see some gold in there. So not completely cheap. A little bit of gold in there. So there's that. And I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And the case is aluminum. So there's a bit of scrap value in all of this. So you get a little bit of aluminum. Peripheral, sorry, not peripheral, peripheral board, but a mid-grade board. Uh, or you can harvest it for the gold, connect, gold connector here, gold connector there. Very simple, but just a cautionary tale. If you have one of these enclosures and your hard drive doesn't work, try the hard drive a different way, a different method of testing it, either plugging it straight into your PC or using uh, one of those like uh, testers uh, that test hard drives because uh, you might end up losing a lot of data if you don't. So uh, thanks for watching. This was a quick one. I'll uh, try to post more uh, soon. So uh, talk to you guys soon.